Today we're going to be taking a look at the best hitch options for your 2008 Chevrolet HHR. Up top we've got the draw tight class 1 receiver hitch part number 24756 and on bottom we've got the Kurt class 1 receiver hitch part number C11447. The primary difference between the draw tight and the Kurt trailer hitches is that on the Kurt it's just more aesthetically pleasing when it's mounted to the vehicle. Here we've got the Kurt installed on our HHR and as you can see the cross tube is pretty well hidden behind the fascia. I think when you look at the Kurt compared to this draw tight you're going to be able to see that that Kurt gives us a little bit cleaner look and helps to give us that extra clearance both from the ground and out from the rear of the vehicle that you're going to need when using accessories. The Kurt has this reinforcement collar around the one and a quarter by one and a quarter inch opening. And along with having that reinforcement collar that just makes it appear to be a little bit more heavy duty, when it's mounted up, this cross tube is tucked up a little bit higher and it's a little bit harder to see than on the draw tight. Here on the Kurt, the safety chain hookups are holes that are cut in the steel plate that's welded to the bottom and this will work well for the majority of safety chain hooks that you may need to use. And here on the draw tight, the safety chain loops are this rolled steel right here. And so if you've got some bigger hooks, this is going to be able to fit those a little bit better than the Kurt will. Another difference between these two is this Kurt comes out towards the rear of the vehicle a little bit more than the draw tight does. And that's going to be really useful when you're using hitch mounted accessories like bike racks and cargo carriers because that's going to give you just a little bit extra room between your bike or whatever you may have on your carrier and the rear of the vehicle so you don't need to worry about contact. When using hitch mounted accessories such as bike racks and cargo carriers, Kurt does recommend the use of a stabilization strap and if you need one, you can pick one up and that's part number 18050. Both of these hitches feature the same weight capacity they feature a 200 pound tongue weight rating and a 2,000 pound gross trailer weight rating. And you will want to be sure to refer to your owner's manual to see if your vehicle is capable of carrying that kind of weight. And if it's not, you want to be sure to follow that guideline. Both of these hitches are easy to install and they mount up in the same way using two bolt holes on both sides. And that's going to complete our look at the best hitch options for your Chevrolet HHR. We hope this aids you in your selection for buying a hitch.